Hello Libra, thank you for joining me today. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. This reading, uh, Libra is going to look at your energies between the 7th to the 13th of December or thereabouts. Unit universal timing is fluid, um, so it could well resonate uh, out for a few days beyond that time. Um, <clears throat> I've done a pre-shuffle of your cards, Libra, to get your energy into the cards. So um, I'll just do a final shuffle of them all, but first of all, we'll just look at, we'll just take a couple of um, cards out of the Oracle of Visions, just to get the reading started, um, looking at some overall energies for you. There we go. So the first reading out um, is number 23, and this is about providing shelter. It's a nurturing energy. Um, we'll see what else comes out in the reading, but it's looking after, caring, nurturing, uh, providing shelter. Right, so we'll, we'll see where this is going. I'll just put it out of the way for now. And then we have the number 27. Now this is about attraction, um, magnetism and possibly infatuation um, to do with something. So we have uh, the lady dressed in red, which is a, a, um, a colour of passion, um, a, a, you know, along with many other meanings for the colour red, but in this particular case I feel it's about passion. Um, we have that she is in the middle of the Venus flytrap, so it's almost like she's been lured into there and now she can't get out. Um, we have the moths that are um, draw attracted to the light. They can't do anything other than fly to, to the light because that's in their instinct, if you like, in their senses. So um, I'll just put this to one side as well and let's see, let's see where we're going. Um, final shuffle of the Psychic Tarot. Um, this is a general reading, Libra, so um, it will resonate with some of you, but perhaps not with all of you, to a greater or a lesser degree. So we've got the heart of your reading, which is your energy um, or and a situation, and what you're thinking about, the root of the matter or hidden influences, past influences, the future going forward, and then just something else that the universe would like to say to you. And at the bottom of the deck we have the solar plexus chakra. Um, the solar, your solar plexus, we all have um, a solar plexus, we, we, we all have our chakra energies. Um, the solar plexus energy centre is in the middle of, just behind our tummy button really, in the, the centre there, right in our centre. So. Um, this is about um, energy to do with power, control um, and authority and, and the need to have that in balance, if you like. Um, so I'll just put this to one side and we'll do a final shuffle of the Wheel of the Year Tarot. And we'll lay these out in the same order on top for a little bit of depth and clarity and then underneath this deck we have the Knight of Wands um, and the Knight of Wands, this is about movement and change um, action, rapid action coming in um, the Wands are about, are about creativity and passion um, the Knight of Wands sometimes uh, signifies moving home, so that's just for some of you, um, moving home in some way, moving residence. Um, but it's definitely um, an, um, an energetic energy coming in, um, and it's something to do with change and movement, creativity and possibly passion. So let's see where we're going with this. Right, here we go, a starter for 10 Libra. We have Temptation and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So, the Temptation, this is very much, it's a major arcana. Um, it's the Devil Energy in Ordinary Tarot. Um, and the Devil Energy is very much about Temptation. Um, 
Now, this is temptation in some area. Now, it may be to do with um, this energy, which is about attraction, um, infatuation, magnetism, right? Um, but the temptation here, as you see in the picture, this person is trying to come away from something that is luring, pulling him in. Um, and he's trying to come away, but he keeps snapping back to it. So he's trying to resist temptation. Um, and you see the tendrils um, of this energy that are sort of curling up around him and, and, and grabbing him and pulling him in also. Um, so this has come out right at the heart of your reading for some of you, um, Libra. So there's something that is, is pulling you in, something you're trying to resist, some form of a temptation um, you're trying to resist here. Um, now, the pentacles, seven of pentacles. Now, this is when, um, this is about timing. So the lady here in the picture is, is heavily pregnant, but not quite ready to give birth. And the tree that she's been looking after and nurturing, watering and feeding through the summer, um, she's testing the apple, because, but it's not quite ready for harvesting. Um, so this is about something, timing, this is about something not quite ready. Um, got to wait a little bit longer, right, um, for this. So it could be that this energy is not quite um, with you at this time, Libra, and this may be the universe giving you a nudge that this energy may be coming in. All right. Or it could be saying that um, it's not quite the right time to um, address. So you may be aware of this, trying to resist whatever this temptation is. You may be aware of trying to resist it, um, but it is not quite, you know, the right time or it's not... It's not happening for you at this time, resisting, possibly. So I'm going to, I might get some more cards to do with this in a minute. And so we'll, we'll find out a little bit more um, about what these energies are for you, Libra. All right, but first of all, let's go, let's see what you're thinking about. So for some of you, you're, you're suffering in silence. So this is from the mental part of the deck. And you, this is when you have fearful thoughts. Um, you're feeling quite alone in your thoughts and your fear-based thoughts. Um, being trapped in your mind, really, a bit of mental conflict. Um, but you're not sharing how you're feeling with others. Um, and then we have the Seven of Wands. So this is another number seven. So if you're into numerology and are interested in the messages that come through with numbers, then do look up. Um, the number seven of, and, and of course the number 77 as well and what that means for you but in any event the seven of wands this is about having to defend ourselves putting up the defensive barriers so we don't get washed over don't get flooded here as in this picture um, now you have got the higher ground here so you're able to and you're also aware of the flood waters coming in so you are in a position of being able to defend yourself, perhaps to put barriers up, um, defending yourself, and that's kind of uh, this is a clarification for uh, there's some fear-based thoughts. So it may be that your fear-based thoughts are making you feel defensive. All right, or in fact act defensively, but that's this is what you're thinking about. So thinking about the need to defend yourself. Now the root of this is material harvest and the chariot. Um, again, two opposite, these are two opposite cards. So in this particular deck, um, this would be the Nine of Wands in Ordinary Tarot. Um, but this is about, there's no more growth in an area. Something, there's been a, a great harvest. Something has been abundant. Um, but now the fields have been planted. Everything that's been collected has been collected. And there's no more growth. So essentially, for me, this is about, um, there's no more growth now in, a, in an area. Um, 
And I feel this is this is what you're thinking about. This is where your fear-based thoughts are are coming from. Um, and then the chariot. Now this is when things start to move forward uh, rapidly. Events start to move forward, and and generally in a very positive way. Um, taking control, taking the reins, heart shining your light, and knowing which direction you're going in. So. This is a clarifier for the material harvest where there's there's no more growth. There isn't any more movement in this card. Um, but in some area, there is. So something is moving forward rapidly and you're taking the reins. Um, but there is no more growth. All right, so I think... This is these are two more cards. I'm going to get have to get some more information for for you, Libra. But um, coming back to these two cards, we have a need for uh, power, authority, and control, and this is about rapid movement and change. Energy, passionate energy coming in. So, what's the past influences here? Well. There's been a, some form of a victory and success in a third party situation. This is just for some of you, Libra. So for some of you, there has been um, a third party interference within a relationship. And, um, and it's been very Victorian, victorious and successful. Now, this may be referring to yourself, for some of you, Libra, that... Um, there has been, you know, you have been involved in a third party situation as one of these parties. Um, and it's felt very spiritually, as well as anything else, very victorious and successful. All right, now that's these are the past influences leading on to temp being, trying to resist temptation because something is coming, something is building up. There's a, a a time is coming when you are going to pick the apple, and I feel that's what this is saying. You're going to try to resist that, and also remember, um, we had this uh, attraction, magnetism, infatuation card, being trapped in the Venus flytrap, and then it would say the moths attracted to the light. So there's something there. Now this 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 card here. This was about providing shelter, nurturing, looking after, taking care. All right, so it could well be that if this is your energy, if these could both be your energies, Libra, that you're in a position of uh, being a caregiver, perhaps within a family, possibly for some of you, looking after. Um, but there's this temptation here this fatal attraction almost. Now, all right, I think we're, this reading is, is slowly unravelling here for some of you, Libra. Um, now, going forward, we have the Truth card and the World. So, the, it's a major arcana. This is the Justice in Ordinary Tarot. Um, and it's significant. So we've had two major arcanas that have come, no, three, with the world. Um, so the temptation is a major arcana. That's right at the centre of your reading. Um, and now we have truth and the world. So going forward, um, there's some form of truth is going to come out um, or truth needs to be faced. A truth needs to be faced. The scales here are not balanced. They're heavily unbalanced. Um, so there's a need for the scales to be balanced now because things um, are out of kilter, if you like. There's an imbalance here. Um, and I think we can see that in this reading. There are so many opposites, if you like, op opposing energies. Um, stop, start, that sort of energy. Um, fatal attraction, magnetism, but nurturing and caring all at the same time. So um, 
So here the scales need to be balanced going forward. There's a truth that needs to come out, I feel. And there's an ending of a cycle. The world talks about a cycle being completed, um, a cycle needing to be completed. And now something has been, has been occurring over the last year, I feel, if not longer, because we have all of the seasons here. Um, so the world, the, the, this, this, whatever it is, has got to complete. That cycle has got to complete, um, ready for um, a transformative energy, ready for things to start again, to go forward anew, if you like. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm drawn to the um, snowdrops, which this is about spring. Perhaps springtime is a significant time for whatever is being completed now. Um, ready for going forward anew, afresh. Um, and this is a clarifier for uh, the truth, a truth. Perhaps it's a truth um, for yourself or a, um, an acknowledgement of something, an acknowledgement of something that needs to be completed in some way. It'll be a little bit different for all of you, um, Libra. All right. Now, before we just look at the root of the situation, I'm going to... This is what, something the universe wants to say to you at this time. So we have uh, the waiting game. Um, and we can see the person walking round and round, waiting. And inside the egg timer, we've got a tree very slowly growing. It's a young sapling tree. So something, the roots are developing and, and the tree is slowly growing, but it's taking time. So this is about time and we had this here didn't we about waiting something about timing waiting before picking the apple give something time it's all right libra i'm just drawn but as i said that picking of the apple This is very much about the Adam and Eve. I just, I'm just thinking of the Adam and Eve story where um, Eve picked the apple, didn't she? She was, she resisted temptation, and she picked the apple. Um, or I'm going to leave that there, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just drawn to that now. Something about that. Now, something about here being patient, waiting for something to grow. And the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, particularly in this particular depiction and this particular deck, um, she's very much of the mind. She doesn't allow her emotions or her heart centre to guide her. She's very much about logic. Um, she likes the truth, um, what's fair and just. She's a very just queen. But she doesn't take fools lightly. She will not take prisoners. So she has her sword at the ready to cut away that which is no longer serving her or which is no longer right and just. So she will, do, and she will do that. She's very clear about that. And she will communicate her intentions very clearly um, so that nobody around her will have any doubt um, about where she's coming from. So um, she may not um, use the right words. She may not, because she doesn't tap into her heart centre, um, she will use the word that she needs to use without a filter, if you like. So she, it can be quite blunt, a little bit cutting, perhaps, um, about what, with what, how, how she puts something across. All right, so this is a clarifier for the waiting game. So I think this is saying before... You have to adopt the Queen of Swords energy to cut away something, to speak your mind. You've just got to wait a little bit longer. You have to wait a little bit longer for something that's growing before you step into your Queen of Swords energy, for some of you. So coming back to the temptation and the seven of... No, this is either...
to do with yourself, Libra, or this is somebody around you that's got this energy. So it doesn't have to be yourself. This is some. There could be somebody around you that you're having to deal with. And that may explain then why we have we're having the two the two different. So this could be yourself. Could be yourself dealing with somebody who has this energy. Possibly. Now, um, I did say, didn't I, I would get some more information um, concerning material harvest. So could we have some more information about the root of this situation? So we have material harvest and we have the chariot. Could we have some more information about material harvest and the chariot, please? So at the root of the matter, there was no more growth in an area. Um, but then um, there was the Ace of Wands energy, which is a passionate new opportunity, a passionate new beginning in some area. Um, very vibrant, energetic, creative or, pa creative or passionate, or a combination of all those energies. Because remember before, I mean, I've shuffled this deck now, but we had the Knight of Wands, didn't we? Which is about movement and change, passion and creativity. So there was no more growth in an area. Um, which left an opening, I feel, for this to come in, for this energy to come in. So this is at the root of this situation. And... So far as the chariot is concerned, something events moving forward and taking the reins. Um, the clarify for that is the five of cups, the five of chalices, and this is when, and this is this happened because um, there was something that a, a sense of loss. Uh, you see all the cups that have tipped over and the liquid has tipped out, and once that happens, you can't you can't put the liquid back into the cup, so it's gone. So something has gone, something went, something left, um, which left this sense of loss and grief, if you like, over what had gone, um, which led on to you having to take the reins and take the reins, take control um, and shine your light going forward in, in another, in a new direction. Um, and of course we had this, your solar plexus shining up here, which is about taking control taking um, authority, regaining your own personal authority and taking control. All right, I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to take, get two more messages for you to round this reading up, Libra. Could we have two more messages, please, um, to round this reading up for Libra? Two more messages, please. I feel that there are a few different messages in this card, so please take what resonates with you, Libra, and leave the rest behind. Yeah, transformation. This is the phoenix that rises up from the ashes. So a fresh new way of living is emerging. Um, and I think we've seen that, haven't we? The world card coming out, completion, the ending of a, of one cycle as truth comes out. Um, so a fresh new way of living is going to emerge for you. And then taking shelter. The answers that are within. So this is about taking time out, um, looking within, meditating, walking in nature, having a break, having time on your own, but certainly um, having quiet time um, to look within, um, tap into your um, inner self, tap into your third eye energy centre, which is in the middle of your brow, um, and, you know, have that quiet still time 
um, and and ask whatever questions you want to ask and see what see what comes up. That certainly shine shine your light going forward, um, and take shelter at this time. Take shelter at this time, and um, because when change is coming in, it can be difficult. It can be un it can destabilize us, um, and it can be quite challenging. All right, so it's important um, to look after yourself and nurture yourself while this is happening. So this explains these two energies. So as this energy is seeing its, as this energy is working its way through, then this is about protection and looking after yourself, nurture yourself and look after those that are near and dear to you also at these times. Libra. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Libra. If you'd like um, a private reading, just looking at your, your personal energies, please do get in touch. The information um, is below the video. Um, but for those that, is, that this reading has had meaning for, um, I hope it has provided some support and clarity to a situation um, that you are meandering and working your way through. Um, which I feel for some of you it, it's 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 being it's it's challenging, um, but you know it's not going to last, and you know there is a transformation happening, and things are going to progress for the better for you, Libra. Um, so I hope there's some clarity and support um, that's come through here, for you, but good luck going forward, Libra, and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye bye for now.